In this video, we're going to see how we seal up the deck ready for winter. Let's get started and welcome to the EMG. To remove the lid, we're simply going to unscrew all the items with a 3mm Allen key. Four along the sides, three along the back, and one in the nose. Okay, so we've now removed all the bolts. Next, we need to lift up the deck. You can gently pry it up from one of the corners with your fingertips, lift it up, and your deck's now free. What we need to do is turn the deck over, simply unplug the two charge ports. Now your deck is free. Okay. We've removed the deck, next step is to remove the battery. Be careful, batteries hold a lot of charge, uh, we don't want to short anything out. So we will lift the battery out gently. We need to remove the two bits of tape that cover the cables. Now you may find these are in a slightly different order in yours, but you want to be removing the yellow plugs, getting them free. And there should be your two charge plugs here. That's your red plug for your batteries. That yellow plug, should I say, for your batteries. Remove the two plugs. Your battery is now disconnected. To remove the battery, you want to put your hands gently down the side here. And you will feel there is a small controller in here. We'll now lift that out of the way. Your battery should now be able to move slightly forward or backwards, depending on how it feels, and you should be able to lift your battery up and out of the way. Next step after removing the battery is to remove the controller. If you're replacing the controller, it's simply a case of unplugging all the plugs and with an 8mm socket you'll be removing you might want to move the rubber okay in this episode I'm specifically looking at resealing my VZ10 e-scooter uh, primarily because I've had a lot of parts off the, off the scooter and I've broke a few seals myself so before we go any further I've got to reseal at the back Fill in this little hole here, and then we'll look at the front uh, where there was a spring. We'll reseal that, and there's two holes that come in the side for your two side lights and indicators. You do have a horn down the front here. That if changing the horn, if that's uh, this is the time that you could possibly do that. Personally, then I would run a wire out the gap in here. This particular instance, I may have told you in a previous episode, but these wires are coiled up in a spring-like material, um, just to hold them all together as they go through that hole, probably for ease of manufacturing, and some maybe some protection. However, because this is cast, this is uh, gonna be sealed up with mastic. The old spring, uh, albeit that this is not a very old scooter, and has only ever been out in a light shower once, it all rusted. So I've got rid of that, because that's a potential weakness, and that will allow water to ingress, especially any water getting flicked up from the front wheel. I want to seal this off completely, so I've put a little bit of mastic in the front for the time being, and I'm now gonna seal it off. Okay, for sealing, I'm using EB25. Uh, you can use whatever mastic or uh, you need, but as long as it's graded for external use. I particularly like this one, it's not the cheapest, it's black, it's the right colour for me. And also, it has got good sort of adhesive strength as well, especially where I'm joining to cut these panels back together. Uh, much like if I was joining a panel on a car. This stuff seems to work for me. You could use Tiger Seal, it's another well known brand. But I shall now put this in my gun. I've already snipped the ends off around the top corners of where this joins the scooter, this back panel. I shall run along the bottom. Now when I took this out, I originally 
up this side. I'm going to take this out originally, I had to clean all the old mastic off. If you've got old mastic, it's best to get it out of the way first before you try and seal up. Now I shall seal up this little channel. This must have been for possibly a cable exit that they were thinking of using, maybe reutilised in a future episode. Right, now I've got a controller forward. I'm going to do the two little holes that go out to the indicators on this side. You just want to wiggle the cable up out so it gets a nice seal on that. Now on this side you've got two. You've got one for your motor. Rear motor which is coming through here. So we're going to seal that one up. And we're going to seal up the little one for the indicators at the front. There, like we did before, we're just going to push this in the hole a little bit just to create a seal. And then finally, I'm going to seal up this front hole here, which I think is the potential reason a lot of people get water ingress in their V sets due to that rust. So I'm going to work it down the top and then push my nozzle into the wires and squirt. That should force it around and out through the bottom. Yep, through the bottom. Okay, that's how I would seal this up. I'm literally just going to get myself a bit of cloth and just gently rub, massage that into the three holes here uh, and then we'll let that dry, cure. Probably the best thing to do before going any further though is to get your rubber seal, lay that down just so any mastic doesn't make it not sit flush where we put mastic in two of the entry exits right here and at the nose. Back here so we slide the controller gently forwards, remove this what I believe is the thermal controller and the lights. We bring this forward until we can see the back edge of a pad that's in there. Push that down and then we're going to pop all the wiring back inside the front here as much as we can, leaving this controller out for the moment, for the time being. We need our two motor wires to lay down the back here. Um, sorry, motor wires, battery wires to lay down the back here. So we create enough room to put the battery in. We're now going to replace the battery. Just want to take care that we don't move the seal too much. And we will lay the battery in the groove like so. Make sure the battery connections are sitting on top. You can relay your seal gently down into there. Push this into position. And then we need to slide as much of this forward as possible and the back tries in the gap like that and we can reconnect the two battery connections so so you can reconnect the two battery connections you may get a spark like I did there push it down and into the groove and towards the rear right hand side as much as possible. We're now going to get the second battery connection, it may spark, connect that into there and then we're going to allow that with the fuse to be located down as far as that way as we can, pushing it right down and then Finally, we have to push the thermal, possibly light controller, into the gap between the controller and the battery. Like so. Once that's all in, we then Gently push the connectors back down the side here and any connectors 
in the front and then we should be ready to reinstall the deck. To reinstall the deck we simply have to turn it over, plug the two charge ports in, one will be closer than the other so this one here will end up on this side here so choose your shortest wire for that one and then plug the two connections back in two charge ports are now ready to be reused lay your nose in lay your rear in push down and that should seat in the position. We can then go ahead and screw the four screws down each side, the one screw in the nose and the three across the back. Okay that's the deck all down. Thank you for watching. Watch my other videos over here. Subscribe down here. Bye.